So today I'm going to show you how I have to replace my pressure relief valve in my boiler system. The relief valve is unfortunately way back there in the corner. Um, that guy got a little bit too much pressure when I flushed the system uh, about a month ago and it now just slowly leaks when the system is on, which is causing water to build up in the system and gurgling all over the place. and. This pump right here, which is at the top of the system, gets air in it, and then it starts squealing really loud, and occasionally I have to replace it. Uh, but because of this, this is the new pressure relief valve. I ordered it. It's a 30 PSI relief valve, and um, we will be putting this in along with replacing my little burp valve because this guy keeps on making noise. Uh, I did purchase a new taco burp valve. Um, same exact part number, um, did get damaged in shipping, this little piece was all bent up and it makes noise, I don't know if that's normal or not, but we're going to replace it anyway. So that guy's got to come off and that guy's got to come off and get replaced. To do this you have to remove the pressure, I've already done that, I've started it already. Um, it's, well, most of the pressure is gone, I'm going to um, open it up a little more. That is done. Um, on the return, there is a valve, and I took a hose, hooked a hose up. It goes out and into a bucket here. I use a bucket for when I flush my system because this way you can see the bubbles coming out. And when the bubbles stop coming out, that means you've gotten all the air out of the system. So uh, the next next part will be um, replacing this guy. I'm going to try to get the camera in here while I do it. Going to be kind of a tight fit. Also, our boiler has five, four zones. Um, we put this in 2001. It's a Buteros. It's a great boiler. Works awesome. Uh, we have, for this part of the house, four zones. So we've got a downstairs zone, a bedroom zone, a zone for this level, and a zone upstairs. Each one of those zones has a thermostat on it, and when the thermostat calls for heat, it turns everything on. This is the boiler power normally is on, but it opens up this valve. Um, those wires go into here and into the uh, transformer to energize, opens the valve, turns the boiler on, heats up the water. This goes up to about 170 to 200 degrees. Pressure should be where that little arrow is, and it starts circulating water. If it's upstairs in what we call the green room, it uses that pump. The rest of the house uses this pump way down here. Uh, it's 20 years old. This pump I've never had to replace, luckily, for two reasons. Number one, they didn't put shutoff valves on either side. Uh, big mistake, I think, by the installer, but that's okay. Uh, luckily, it's at the bottom of the system. No air gets stuck in that guy, so it just runs and runs and runs. I bet you this valve or this pump. I bet you I never have to replace it. Knock on wood. So, here we go. So, to continue to relieve the pressure on the system, I'm just going to undo or relief, relieve the pressure in the system. It's going to go on the floor and then go down to the drain if there's any pressure left. And then the first thing I have to do is unscrew this pipe down here. And once that pipe is unscrewed, then I can untwist this guy here. I could call a plumber to do this, but he would do the exact same thing I'm doing, so there really is no reason to have a plumber. As ugly as this pipe is, I'm going to reuse it uh, because it is a 
just a low pressure pipe to guide the water down to the floor. As I turn this, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on this pipe here because I don't want this pipe to bend and possibly the, the union up here or down at the bottom, we don't want to bend those um, and cause a crack or anything like that. There it goes. This guy's going to be kind of difficult to get out. Switching to a pipe wrench. And push it this way. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that for now. I'm putting pipe tape on my new valve. Okay, just taped it up. This time I think this one will be easier to navigate around. And this is a connection you don't want to leak. So I'm going to try to go, go around one more time. Can't go around one more time, I'll take it out. Put a little bit more pipe tape on there. But I think we're gonna be good. This connection is a high pressure connection. It's only 20 psi, designed to go at 30. So not a lot of pressure, but you just don't want this to leak. Unwind on the on the threads. Pipe branches, they're just designed to grip, grip round things. They're designed to grip round pipes, but they work great for things like this. Oh, the tighter I'm putting that. Alright, that's been replaced. 
sorry, that was the pressure relief valve. This is the burp valve. So when air gets comes into this system here, you know, the hot water comes through here and goes over up to this valve and services water to the inflow heat upstairs or it goes down to oops to these valves which provide water for the bedroom level, the basement level, or this level. So this guy's gonna be super easy to undo. Um, I have to add a little bit of pipe tape to the one I'm gonna do. So I'll show you how I do this. So these threads here need pipe tape on them. Um, so I just take a little bit of pipe tape, put it on like this, and just go around a couple times, making sure it's not going to get inside. And pull. Okay, so that's all taped up. That'll screw into here. This is a direct replacement. It actually has the same part number, but the bell or the, the bleeder thing is off to the side. All right. Sorry for the wobbles. Okay, just gotta loosen it up like that. Here she comes. Sorry about that vibration. My home automation told me that my, my refrigerator is left open. And I also date everything that I can. So this will get today's date, which is January 6th of 2024. drain the entire system and well, not drain it but we're gonna flush it and I don't think I've got a video on flushing the boiler 